One doesn't usually associate plastic surgery with costuming, but when my daughter Tia first asked me to make her Halloween costume rather than to buy the next princess gown, I found that my training in plastic and reconstructive surgery could actually be put to use. Plastic surgeons are presented with challenges every day, whether it's to put something back together, to recreate something, or to take something away. Guiding principles are followed. Which can be applied to costuming as well. The first challenge was Tia's candy corn. In any reconstruction, choice of materials are important. Here, I applied felt to foam sheeting, similar to skin grafting. In a cancer of the nose, skin nearby gives the best color match. In a breast reconstruction, a skin graft from the upper inner thigh helps to create the nipple areolar complex. And in burn surgery, skin grafts are harvested from available tissues with the hopes of minimizing overall visible scarring. Supplies are also important. My favorite allies in costuming are duct tape, Gorilla Glue, and staples. Especially since I only know how to sew skin. <laughs> Here in the skeleton, I applied synthetic bones using Gorilla Glue. Staples are used to secure skin grafts or in areas where scarring is ultimately unaffected, such as on this knee reconstruction or behind the ear on the scalp. Similarly, I use staples and glue to attach tinfoil fabric and foam when Tia wanted to be a red convertible car. <laughs> the underlying structural support can define the end result. So when Tia wanted to be Zoltar from the movie Big, a cardboard box was used, complete with mini lights lining the insides of the windows, one slot for candy to go in, and another slot for fortunes to come out. I also brought surgical supplies. For example, I use plaster casting to create what I like to call this Anubis cow because I didn't quite get the nose right. <laughs> Last year, Tia was a trauma victim. The legs are actually fake. She is walking with a bed support on a folding grocery cart, <laughs> and a bedpan was used for the candy. <laughs> to achieve proper contour, excision of excess and redraping are also techniques that I have borrowed. These help me drape a plastic around a yellow frame. When, uh, for a hamster ball, when my son wanted to be a hamster. <laughs> And attention to detail is always important. In this ice cream sundae, sprinkles were used uh, with birthday candles. There was cotton for the whipped cream, and there's a cherry on top, of course. For complex wounds, creative use of grafts to fill in uh, uh, flaps to fill in defects, or the manipulation of tissues with flaps and grafts. Or the reconfiguration was what is already present helped to create the end result. In Tia's spaghetti and meatballs, <laughs> I used mop heads for the spaghetti, styrofoam balls for the meatballs, and a colander for the candy. Finally, in cosmetics, everybody wants to be young, beautiful, and perfect, like the Rockettes. Four dummies were created, which were suspended on either side with IV poles <laughs> for trick or treating. And when my kids no longer want to have their costumes made, I can always put my surgical skills to use carving pumpkins. Thank you. <laughs>